This is Clea with Dare to Care Computers. In this lesson, we'll learn how to use virtual desktops or multiple desktops in Windows 10. In our previous lesson, we talked about setting your internet browser's home pages to save time and work more efficiently. Another fun feature that helps us out is Task View. This menu does two things. First, it allows you to view your previous tasks, such as recently opened programs or files. Secondly, it allows you to create virtual desktops, which allow you to work in multiple environments. So let's get started. From your desktop screen here, we see the icon for task view. It looks like two boxes stacked on top of each other. And if you don't see task view here, right click on an empty space on your taskbar and select show task view button. Mine is already selected and is confirmed by the check mark. So down here, we'll click task view. And we can see our currently open programs, which is File Explorer and my control panel items. These are the programs that are open. We'll go down and look at earlier today and see my previous open programs. I can right click on this or double click and open that or I can remove them from the task view. But what we'll take a closer look at is creating another desktop. So at the left hand corner, we see new desktop. If we click on that, desktop number two occurs here. We can select that. And right now is a blank desktop. So I will open my thesaurus, go back to task view, and then I'm able to see my desktop number one. So I'll open what I have on this desktop and bring back up my second desktop to see the difference. Now, if you wanna take advantage of using two virtual desktops or even more, I would definitely encourage utilizing the shortcut keys. Now there are two important ones, there are others, but these are the ones I find to be most useful. The first one is the Windows key plus control and D is in desktop. This creates a new desktop. So if I click on my shortcut key, the Windows key, control and D, I created another desktop. A second shortcut is the Windows key, control and the arrow keys. And now I can move between the desktops that I have freely. That really is very helpful. You don't have to keep going down and clicking on task view and then selecting the desktop that you wish to work with. You can just use your shortcut keys and move seamlessly between the desktops that you have open. With a few quick steps, we've learned how to enable task view, how to view recent tasks, and how to create virtual desktops in Windows 10. Use these features to find recent documents and arrange desktops for different tasks, such as work, school, or family use. And don't forget those shortcuts. Follow Dare to Care Computers for more tech tips and tutorials to ease your tech woes. This is Clea with Dare to Care Computers. Until next time.